Hi guys, I wanted to give a quick little testimony over um, a blessing that was given to us um, with Corey's last um, diagnosis of pneumonia. Um, some of you know my story, some, or some of you know our story, some of you don't. Uh, my daughter has um, intermediate severe solid disease. So this means that she has a list of medical complications that she has um, that include like unable to clear her airways properly, um, epilepsy, um, cerebral palsy basically. Um, so she's really 100% dependent on us. Um, she has a suction machine that we have to use um, whenever you know she's really sick or she has extra secretion. Sorry, let me clear those notifications. When she's um, sick or has um, secretions that she needs to help clearing, we have to usually suction her out. Um, back in 2018, we were in the hospital once a month for at least two weeks at a time every month for, I want to say, a span of, I think, six or seven months, it felt like. It could have been a little bit less than that, maybe closer to five or six I'm not sure I know it was a long time and it was constantly it's like clockwork every two weeks we would go to the hospital we would stay there for two weeks while we waited for her to get better and then we would come home and then we would be great for a week and then we would start seeing signs again um, we found out that she was colonized with pseudomonas in her lungs which is really common when you undergo a procedure um, and you have to be intubated, and she was. Um, she had to have the, it's called a Nissen fund duplication, where they um, basically stop her from having reflux because she was having reflux to where she was losing weight. Anyway, um, fast forward, we've been battling with pneumonia since then all the time. Um, so this, recently I started with a company um, called Young Living where we, you know, it's all natural essential oils. They, they back their oils 100% by being completely natural, no extra added preservatives. Um, we decided to start taking a more natural route to um, treating Corey because she is on so many medications a day that it's just, it's overwhelming and we all know there can be harmful um, side effects with medications. So um, anyway, this last time that she was diagnosed, um, it was after I already started with this company, you know, we're already doing several different oils to help her and it has been helping. Um, anyway, we were, we received a blessing. Someone purchased, um, this, what's called an aroma dome for us to use on Corey whenever she does have problems like with her asthma, reactive airways, where her, her lungs just need to open up. Everything needs to be opened up so she can cough it out and clear it, you know, stop inflammation. Um, anyway, um. So we received one of these, um, it's called an aromadum, it's kind of sitting a little bit weird on my coffee table, I don't have a better setup than this and she's napping right now, um, or else I would use her as an example, but we're usually when both of my kids are napping is the best time for me to give any kind of explanations or videos of anything, so, because I have 100% of my attention focused on you guys. Anyway, um, I wanted to explain how it works a little bit, so a lot of, actually massage therapists will use this in treatment um, with their clients. So you see it's like a big tent. Um, under here is like the opening. I don't know if you can kind of see that. There we go. Um, you'll see that little pocket right there at the top that actually holds the bottle in the nozzle. I'll talk about that in a minute. There's a zipper on this other side. Um, and then right here, you have this little window that you can Velcro open and peek through. Oh, sorry, this is such a terrible setup. Anyway, um, this is just tall enough to where if Corey is in her positional seat or on the floor, we can set it over it and she's in her own little tent. Um, it comes with this little pump. Um, you control the input and output. So that's the in output that I just turned on. Now you can adjust it to, oh, sorry. It's like, there we go. You adjust it to how um, high, how much output you want on there. So here's like the most and here's the least. I was turning it off. You have it set on a timer here. So you can set it for, um, I know that they have 5, 10, 15, and 20 minutes on there. And then there's a whole bunch of smaller ones. Um, starting out, we put Corey on just about two minutes is what it roughly ran around. And then, um, or I'm sorry, this is the rest and this is the run. So, I mean, you, it's the exact same measurement. So um, you want it to run for so long and then you want it to rest and give you breaks in between. Um, 
there's uh, directions that come with it that give recommendations for that. You can also look up online or, um, on their website, and I'll post the link on here so you can check it out. Um, but you want to let it run for so long, and then you want to give yourself a break. But you, what you do is you are sitting in your dome completely covered. Um, everything's blocked off underneath, so nothing can escape, and it's just, it's, it's concentrated. It's a concentrated um, diffusing of whatever oil that you choose. So for Corey, because of her airways and her, her needing to clear secretions and stuff, we, I like to use um, eucalyptus radiata. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Sorry, my nail polish is so ugly. I didn't get a chance to put a second coat on and I don't have the patience to do it. So anyway, and then I like to use Raven. I'm so sorry about the clarity of this. Raven. Those are my favorites to use on her. And once we do that, I usually do five minutes and then I give her um, a break for about 10 and then I'll, it'll run five minutes again. She loves being in the tent. She thinks it's really cool. Anyway, um, it also comes with this so you can put your little bottle of oil inside so it's standing up on a table. I don't know if you can kind of see that. Yeah, that way like it doesn't tip over. Another thing that it comes with that's essential is you have two or some extra rings in the baggie. I just like to keep it in the baggie when I'm not using it so um, they don't get you know contaminated, dirty, um, whatever. But um, anyway, you have one. This one's, let me just pull it out. <laughs> You have one here that goes on the 15 mil bottles. It has the longer stem on it. And then we have one that goes on five mil bottles. So if you don't have a big bottle, it has a shorter stem. And you can throw the two here. You can see one's longer than the other. Um, and what you do, uh, for myself, I have really high anxiety. Um, and my doctor put me on some medications. Obviously, Xanax is one of them. I try not to take it as much as I, you know, unless I absolutely have to. So that's why another reason why I have started looking into oils is to find natural remedies for myself because, you know, the harmful side effects of taking Xanax or other um, sedatives, like fast acting sedatives like that can be addiction. And that's not something that I want to battle with. Um, so I uh, found that bergamot um, works the best for me. When it comes to like panic attacks and anxiety attacks, what I do is I will sit in this myself. I'll actually lay down and I'll lay it over me on the bed. I'll, a lot of times I have to have my husband help me out because um, it's it's not difficult, but it just makes it easier to have someone else do it for you. That way you're not having to readjust and everything like that. It's not impossible though. I have done it before when he has not been here. Um, anyway, I'll go ahead and try to do the bergamot and show you how to set it up. Oh, and another thing that it comes with is this hose. Um, anyway, sorry, so you're going to, whenever you open up your bottle, you're going to see you have this little plastic part on here. You just pop this off very carefully so you don't spill any of this precious gold. Um, and this is a 15 mil bottle, so I'm going to use the 15 mil, um, nozzle sprayer thingy. There's a technical term for all of this and you will find that on their website. You just screw it on like that. That's what it looks like. See, it's all diffused. There's no carrier oil. This is a straight shot of bergamot. Um, then you hook up your hose. You hook it up there on the bottle nozzle. And then you hook it up here on this little metal part right here. Okay. Untangle all of that. And then when you come inside of here, I'm gonna see if I can show this to you by myself. I'm gonna put that bottle down. See, that's why you need this little thing, so it doesn't fall down. Like it's top heavy. Okay, it's in there. And now it won't fall. So I try to show you this. <laughs> So, inside of here, you see this little part here, it has a little pouchy. Um, right here in this pouch is where you put your sprayer. And then you'll put yourself inside of the tent. I'm gonna peek out of the little hole here. You hook your bottle up there. Sorry, that was pretty lame. Anyway, um, and like you said, you wanna give yourself breaks. 
but you just you hang that inside of that little pouch on the inside um, I'll try to get a little video maybe of me inside of it to show you what the setup looks like on the inside and then you set it to however long you want it to diffuse to however long you want to break um, you don't really want to fall asleep with it um, it, the, it explains all of this in the instructions. This is me just kind of going over our little testimony, a basic how-to. Um, you really want to watch the, um, the creator's instructional videos on this. Don't go off of what I'm doing. I want you to be able to inform yourself before you go and buy this and use this. Um, anyway, but it does come with another timer, an outlet timer, that will shut it off for you automatically. Like, let's say if you happen to fall asleep on the inside, it'll shut it off so it's not continuously running using all of your oil. You know what I mean? Um, Anyway, so that's how we do that. Um, more about um, myself though, whenever I use this, I use I set it for five minutes and I give myself um, 15 minute breaks. And then I usually just let it run three times so I get a total of 15 minutes of diffusing time. And then um, a total of, what is that, like 45 minutes rest time. So usually it's like, if I wanna do a nap or something, but I usually have help with my kids whenever I'm doing it. That way I don't have to constantly get in and out, in and out, in and out. Um, you don't have to do it for that long. You do it for however long you want to. You really want to start off at a at a shorter time when you're first starting out because you don't know how you're going to react to it. Not that it gives necessarily a bad reaction, but it is a, a very concentrated, um, it's a very concentrated diffusing. It's not like your average diffuser where you add water or anything like that. I mean, it's, it is straight oil, straight from the bottle. Um, so it can, it's very powerful and it does its job. I noticed, with me, like if I feel like I'm having a panic attack, I'll use my bergamot. I found that one's the one that works best for me. Um, and I do that. I like, uh, you know, the, the smell and just soaking all of it in, plus just being able to take downtime and relax is very, very helpful for me. And then it's just, I feel refreshed. Sometimes I even take a longer nap afterwards because it's so, like I said, so concentrated that it's so, it's like, boom, like right there. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know how to explain that in a more sophisticated term, I'm sorry. But I noticed with Corey, um, her first time using it um, to open up her lungs, it really, I mean, she, she wasn't just, she wasn't in distress, you know, she didn't, um, she wasn't having any uh, panic attacks, it didn't cause any kind of epileptic seizures or anything like that. I mean, she was really, she was relaxed. Um, she was a little bit excited because she was inside of a tent. I mean, what four-year-old isn't going to be? Um, and it, afterwards, I noticed, like, her, she wasn't, like, coughing as much with that wasn't, like, a productive cough. So, she had a lot of productive coughs where she was clearing out secretions. And she wasn't, so, she also, when she gets to be really sick because she has so much drainage and so much secretions that she has to manage, she snores. And it's not just, like, a, like, an actual snore as much as it is as her trying to clear out all of the stuff that's back here, bring it to her throat so she can cough it out. So, I mean, it gets to be really overwhelming when she's really sick and you know that it's probably painful for her. After she does um, a session in the Aroma Dome, I notice that she's not snoring like that. Um, she's able to cough and get the stuff out that she needs to cough out. Um, she's just not as stressed, she's more relaxed and she's back to being like her little cheerful self versus like feeling miserable all the time, feeling like just inflamed and tight and, you know, sore and, um, with her not co constantly coughing, her throat doesn't get sore, she doesn't get tired, so, um, anyway, I would recommend this to anyone who loves essential oils, who believes in the natural, um, healing, um, natural medicines, um, alternative medicines, I would definitely recommend investing in one of these, um, massage therapists, definitely recommend in doing this because you can really, I mean, you can target certain people's needs that day and just make them walk out, like, you know, just have them walking out feeling, it gives you like a sense of like power and fulfillment, I think. Um, like it just, it just gives you this whole new, like it's like a big cleanse. It's like, oh, what is that word that I'm looking for? I think you guys kind of know what I'm trying to say though. So anyway, um, it is an investment. Um, like I said, we were blessed by a very close friend of ours to have given this to us. And it was like, it's been a very big blessing in our lives. It's been a really great alternative, um, treatment for Corey, um, for myself, my husband, he's, he doesn't, you know, claim that he has any problems, but I know that he really likes it too. We usually, I use like the, 
Um, you can switch out oil. So like if their first treatment you want to do like let's say lavender, the second one you want to do peppermint, second one you want to do lemon, you know, the LLP allergy attack relief. Um, I use that on him a lot because he has really bad allergies, especially during the spring. Uh, excuse me. Anyway, I do that to him too and he he, I think he likes it. He likes just like just being in the tent itself. Like even if you didn't have any kind of oils in there, it just gives you like this sense of calm and like, I don't know, comfort, I guess. So anyway, um, it's for everyone. I would definitely say that it's for everyone. And um, like I said, it's an investment and I do think that everyone needs it. So um, if you guys have any questions or if you have um, any questions for me, um, more about like how the treatment works or anything like that, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm going to be posting the link of where you can purchase this. Um, and on their website, they have all of the instructional videos that come with it too. So you'll be able to watch all of those and learn for yourself, you know, exactly how it all works. So um, anyway, if like I said, if you guys have any questions, just um, reach out to me. You can comment, send me a message. Um, just uh, let me know and I'll be happy to help you guys. Thanks.